Good morning, welcome back to Little Norton. We have got the crop that we drilled yesterday is already coming through, as you can see, it's updated and come through. We will be taking a short breed back up this road just to cover where we've missed a piece. As you can see from the land at the side of us, we will get ourselves turned around. Great, we've got the new Holland back. And now we shall take this breed up through here as far as we need to take it because resetting the GPS is uh, not sure how proceeds supposed to work because it hasn't gone up onto track 2 at the moment so let's just have a look turned on I think <coughs> well, we will get this piece drilled through here get ourselves back to normal and on the way back we will we will be taking a piece of what we drilled out here at the minute but can't be helped but it will regrow back once we get back onto the section where we need it, <coughs> excuse me, a bit of a frog in my throat, right we have got to there, right we will turn around and reconnect, we've also got our tractor there which is stuck, we just need to give that a push with our just to get it out. Hopefully now it will and one second more we need to hold our width our drill that is why it did play up a little on the starter. So proceed is working, as you see we're on track 2 now, and we are missing a bit of crop here, we don't need that, we need to bring up the get this sorted, we don't want to be missing bits of crop all over the place. It is still dropping a tram line in here, so we'll leave it till we get to this end and then try and set it up. We may have another strip where we've not got some crop in. Proceed seems to work better than the other add-on thing because it is automatic we can get it set just how we want it. So to get to this end we will narrow our track off a little and then now we've got proceed, we can put the tram lines in properly. We'll leave that little strip, not going to mess about doing a thin strip up the field like that. It's going to cost more in diesel than the crop that we're getting in, so we will auto width it 21 feet. If it 
down to 20 feet and that now should be all set to go. Oh, we've got an offset on. We need to get rid of the offset on the back of the drill. And so now it is working as it should, although it's taken out one of the tram lines, but we will see. Going forward should work fine now. Hopefully. When we get to this end, just widen it up a little if we're overlapping again. It is just leaving the tram line in there in a lot of places, so it should work fine. This is a massive field to get drilled. And we have got to drill, I think field 20, I'm not sure whether that needs drilling or whether it's, yeah it does need drilling, you can see it over there bare, and we are now, we've got 72% seed, hopefully our Little old international there is not stuck anymore. We had a lot of rain and it sunk into the ground a little. That's the downside, I suppose, to having added realism in. We shall now see when we get spun around. Put the drone back up, make sure that we are in line properly, which we certainly are. And away we go, we're on track one now. <coughs> and everything now working as it should, I think. Finally we get to working. Do um, with shifting the proceed or the level, but it's given us a seed rate in there we're putting in. Sure, the information is 1.05 hectares, uh, 19 hectares an hour. That's what we're drilling. So that's where that's the actual hectares we're doing. 1.08, 1.09, and it's drilling at 19 hectares per hour. Not sure how big this field is, but going to be a good amount of work left. and actually sell that little attachment on the drill now which will give us a bit of money back and you see the track counter going up there as we turn and this is now putting a drum line in you can see it red right at the bottom now is uh, up and running. And now we don't need to have this drill to do tram lining. Hopefully we can get this field drilled and field 20 today. Field 20 is going to be barley. And we'll be 
be the next field that gets drilled. We will, as ever, work the day out until we get to the end of the day and rejoin you on a new day tomorrow. Now this works a lot better that the tram lining system is automated and we now want to get ourselves turned back in. So yeah, when you want to use Proceed, you've got Auto, Semi and Manual. We have it on Auto. You can alter your width on this button. Your track can be altered on. Up and alter the track. You mess our tram lining up. You can alter your track on that. Turn it on and off with that one. That is telling you that it's tram lining is on seed or fertilizer you can shut off half the drill on that one uh, just a quick run through of what proceed does for you you can have your track as narrow or as wide as you wish I mean we've got it set at 18 meter because that's what our fertilizer spreader is. The spray is a little bit wider but we don't mind overlapping just a little bit. I think it's 24 meters but we will be buying a fertilizer spreader at the end of this season that will take us to a 24 meter spread. We bought the, got the new Holland back on the farm, T7 Blue Power, is absolutely brilliant. And we can now get back to life that it should be, as I said before, the police found it over at the docks where someone had stolen it and was shipping it abroad. So luckily for us that it was found. You can see we're back on track one now so when we turn again it will go to track two. <coughs> and put in a drum line for us. Still got an half a tank of seed so we're fine to head around the field once more after this round I think. We are on Sunday the 18th of May so it's getting very late for getting our crops in. We may get all these in, we may not bother with potatoes this season just have a field of sugar beet which we have to have one field of sugar beet on our contract with the sugar factory, potatoes you can grow if you want and when you want so we may just have sugar beet as a root crop this season, 55% seed left so we will again get ourselves set in. Away we go once more. This time we're putting the tram line in. You can see it's gone red at the bottom. That bottom yellow bar uh, has got the tram line in the middle of it. So 
and a whole lot easier than doing it yourself with the normal tram lining system for this drill so updating that we will go into garage CT tram lines unit will get four grand back for that, so that is good. And away we go once more. A lot of crews flying about at the minute. See the tractor 80 between 80 and 90% on the rear wheels, 10% on the front, so plenty of wheel slip on the rear wheels, but front wheels doing a good job at the minute. Spin ourselves back around, press the button on the screen and away we go, we will get back on board and yes, since we've got it back we've added another screen to it, we've added the flashing beacons in the front grille Quite a nice office, we've got a new carpet, it's a little bit rubberized carpet but it's certainly still carpet, all the way across there to go yet in here so hopefully we can get this field finished today. Good to have these wider terror tyres on the tractor for drilling so he's messing about with dual wheels. And if we do any plow, when we do ploughing with it, we will put the standard tyres back on. See the tram lines where we put them in already, dark lines across the field. So proceed back and working well. So this. Proceed tram liner better than the one that came with the drill, so we sold the one that came with the drill. Still got 47% seed, we'll have another round. So, yeah, we've got tra Proceed tram lining system and put on. It's fully automated if you want it to be, or you can have it manual if you want, or semi auto. I think we will leave it on auto, it seems a lot easier to use that way. It would have been a good way across there, but we did have a lot of rain rainers off yesterday. do without any rain coming now for a day or two, get the drilling done and the crops in because it's getting plenty late enough. Drilling wheat in May not ideal, so it could be a late harvest. But we shall see how that goes. We'll have a couple of fields that we'll get done reasonable time because it was already drilled when we bought them. Uh, around we go once more. And once more putting a tram line in again. Uh, go back to the drone footage.
and you'll see how much of the field we've got left to do after this. It's still 42% full, so we're going to get a good amount of ground done before we need to fill up again. And as I say, hopefully the international will be free now. We'll give it a push with the front lifter on the New Holland. Now we've only got half a tank of fuel left in the New Holland as well, which we should have filled up before we left the yard, but we didn't, unfortunately, but not to worry, we should have enough to keep you going all day. And we'll get round once more before we need to refill our seed. Not using too much seed, it is being a little bit lean on the seed, but not a major issue for us. Good thing is, as well, we haven't got any standing water on the land at the minute. It is, the ground is wet but it's drilling nicely, it's not too wet, the tractor not put 100% wheel slip all round so see how the crop grows once we get going and see where we've been today over the last lot of drilling. I guess it's now middle of spring coming up, well late spring possibly now, so we could end up with some fields set aside this season. Away we go again, so the rows are getting shorter this end each time we do a breed and there will be at this top end after a couple more breeds uh, the field should come to us pretty quickly once we get going Proceed as well, it is doing a little bit, putting a little bit less seed into what it normally does. May now we've got proceed and sold that, we may for next year get an extra tank put on the back of the drill. So we can put some fertiliser down while we're drilling. We'll see about that as we get closer to the time for getting our drilling done. Right. Something's gone wrong here. We have pro results, so at that point we will leave you for today. Hope you've enjoyed today's episode. Please give us a like, give us a share, drop us a comment if you're new to the channel and you'd like to see more of the work we do here. Please subscribe, 
if that bell rings, it will tell you when we do our farming, when we do our racing, until you join us next time. Thank you very much for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day and goodbye for now.